welcome back to our HP ALM and Quality Center video tutorial series on quick tips and tricks brought to you by the Results Positive team. We keep the videos short and to the point so that you can become a resident expert in no time. In this video, we will continue working within the management module on releases and cycles. Specifically, we will show you how to assign test sets to releases and cycles. It's quick and easy, plus it's a recommended best practice from HP to do this. As you likely know, a test set is created in the test lab of HP Quality Center. Think of a test set as a collection of test instances or cases. You'll create your test cases within a test plan and move them into the test lab for execution. Before moving your test cases from the test plan, you'll create a logical hierarchical structure within the test lab with test sets to better group these test cases for execution. In our experience at Results Positive as test managers and IT practitioners, we often see business scenarios representing test sets in the test lab. For instance, you may have high-level business processes defined within your company. An example may be order management. Within order management, you'll have business scenarios such as processing a back order. To process a back order within your ERP system, as an example, you might have 10 or 15 test cases defined with 10 or more design steps within each test case. The test set you create within a test lab of HP Quality Center would help categorize the processing a back order scenario. Before we show you this lesson though, you're probably asking yourself why assigning test sets back to releases and cycles matters. I mean, what's the point anyhow, right? Is this just busy work? Well, we can assure you it's not just busy work as the old saying goes. As we discussed in prior tutorials, HP Quality Center's modules work in concert with one another. Assigning test sets back to cycles defined in the management module does one very important thing. It helps you answer the inevitable question of how are we doing? As you will see, Quality Center's power lies in its ability to aggregate data and provide your stakeholders with a bird's eye view of both progress and quality. By assigning test sets back to cycles, you have fingertip access to requirements execution rate and your actual execution rate, along with key quality indicators such as defect opening rates and outstanding defects. To see that information though, you need to establish these linkages. And by the way, if you'd like a desk aid with screenshots for any of these tips and tricks we demonstrate, just email us at info at resultspositive.com or click the link below this video to download. Enough talk though, let's assign a few test sets to the functional regression cycles of SP05.15. So I'm going to go ahead and click on testing and then test lab. And within the test lab, you can see I created a folder called SP05.15. I already went ahead and created the test set for us. Here's the test set. As you can see in the execution grid though, I have no test cases in here. So I'm gonna quickly bring over a few test cases for this demonstration. And these are arbitrary test cases. They're not really anything relevant to processing a back order, of course. So let me bring these over. You can see I have a few test cases in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the folder above the test set, right click on it, and then go to assign to cycle. This pop-up window appears for select cycles. I'll click the drop-down arrow, navigate my way to SP05.15. So this particular folder with this test set of processing a back order, plan to do that in my functional testing cycle. Click OK. There we go. It's assigned it to the cycle. Now, if you ever make a mistake and you want to come back in and release this from that particular cycle, you can certainly do that quickly by right-clicking here clicking on clear assigned cycle, or you can just assign it to a different cycle. So come back into the folder, click on the folder, go to details, click the down arrow, and just assign it to a different cycle, as I'm doing here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to the functional cycle. And then I'm gonna go back up into the management module, go to releases, go to functional, go ahead and refresh here. details and you can see as I refreshed it shows test set folders assigned to cycle one and then if I'm up here in the releases or the management module and I want to drill down to see the test sets that are associated I just click here that concludes our video tutorial for today thank you for watching mm -hmm.